Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here, greeting his boys and girls, and welcome to this, another brand new day. Not only a brand new day, on my lap, I have a dust mop running around. Yes, indeed. My last little fuzzy guy. He's a sweetheart. Very, very nice. Very gentle. He's, a, he's very active and fuzzy. And he's doing well. So I just wanted to show him off, because, of course, I love my hamsters. And I just want people to see them. So here we go, my last little guy, a little dust mop. Okay, little guy, here we go, back inside the cage. You're a little home. Yay. It's a good thing. Well, I continue taking magnesium tablets before I go to bed. Oh, good golly, Miss Molly, now my, my chair is all disrupted. I had gotten myself into place and, and centered, and now I'm not, so joy. Anyway, though, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I continued taking magnesium tablets. Well, I actually slept last night. Thumbs up for that. But the Shelton, Washington weather, plague, rat, and spider report on the weather, uh, it looks like it's going to be another bright, sunny day. It will start to rain again eventually. And, you know, that's good. Because don't want it to be too hot. We've had it hot here. And now it's cooler. So, thumbs up for that. Uh, hopefully it'll stay that way. And of course, Plague Rat Report, people walking around inside of the, the Safeway, local Safeway, no masks. So just doing my best to avoid, but you know, it's recycled air and that's the problem with being indoors. It's recycled air with the Kofefe bug. And <sighs> so doing the best I can, yay. But past that, I mean, life is life. And then, of course, on the spider report, the little bathroom spider is still there. The garden spider over there is still doing well. And there are a couple other smaller spiders on the shelf down here, way down below. I was actually working with, with some stuff, and I noticed there are a couple spiders down there. And then there are spiders in corners. So Spiders are good. I mean, they keep the bugs down. Thank God for that. Whew. And if they get to be too bad, well, of course, then you just go on a rampage and destroy all the spiders. Suck them up with, with vacuum cleaners or whatever. Ha 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 Become a, a, a rampaging... Well, I mean, you shouldn't do that. So, no, thumbs up. Now, someone in comments was saying, you know, you should name the spiders, but they, they travel so much, and it's a parasocial relationship as it is. I mean, they don't know that I'm even alive. I only register as threat or not threat. So, I'm, I'm not too worried about that part of it. And so, just because it is a parasocial relationship, I'm not too worried about naming them. So, I'm, I'm looking for my comb. I'm not really going to, to name the spiders because they, they come and go and, and perish and, and travel so quickly. So quickly. So, I don't mind not naming them. They're just spiders and it's good. Thumbs up for that. Definitely a good thing. I have been thinking of some other things and such. There is one thing actually that's I saw on a video, I got it written down on my list, and I have to keep reading it because even though I I slept last night and I did well, and I went to bed fairly early, but I, it took a while to fall asleep because of some mild anxiety because of my heart skipping beats. <sighs> so I'm not thinking all that well, <laughs> so I have to keep rereading that thing. I did watch a video on this one thing called the Infographics Channel where the graphics are, you know, infographics like, but they, they talk usually pretty good about stuff. But they were talking about on this one video why, I haven't watched the whole thing, unfortunately I haven't had time, but why people will do things that are really bad ideas. And it's not a new thing, it is a, a human thing. If you're being present, you're, let's say you're going to get a stupid tattoo and all your friends are telling you don't get that stupid tattoo. But you know from personal experience, every time someone says don't get that stupid tattoo, that just in your mind says, I'm, I'm going to get that. I'm getting that tattoo. And the more people tell you not to, the more you decide you're going to do it until you go out and do it. And that's a human thing because of the whole binary choice thing. It's being presented as a binary choice. Should I, should I not? 
and everyone tells you no. So you no longer have a choice. The binary choice of do it or don't do it has been taken away from you. And a normal, natural human response when the, when the choices, the binary choice of yes or no is taken away from you, you will make it a choice and embrace the bad idea because choice has been taken away from you. We are contrary and backwards as human beings and isn't it wonderful? And I've got a couple flies flying around here. They haven't had a chance to move out the window because they came in during the night time. Yay. So my apologies if you see the flies flying around. That's, I keep the window open 24-7, 365, whether it's raining or it's cold or hot or whatever, that window's open. And the fan's usually on, too. Thumbs up for that. Not during the winter time, then the hamsters would just plain freeze. So then you got to keep it warm. Thumbs up for that. Past that, let me take a look over here on the list. One thing I have been doing, and I... As I've stated before, one of the things that one of the things, one of the people that I watch online is like Markiplier. Sometimes he's uh, too much, and I, I can't get into his personality depending on what he's doing. But also, at times, it's very, very good in a bad way for him. I was rewatching his getting over it with Bedit Fadi playthroughs and the game getting over it with Ben and Foddy I've talked about this it is a game that I have but I've played only very little because it's a rage quit game it is very very difficult to move in the direction that you want to go like if you want to go from the left side of the screen to the right side you're gonna find it hard to go in that direction but any slight movement will bounce you back in the direction you came and you're having to climb up things while trying to make it so that you can go in that direction or whichever direction if you have to go left it's hard to go left but you will launch to the right and if you need to go right it's hard to go in that direction but you will launch off in that direction with the slightest thing you're a guy in a big old pot with a hammer and you're using the hammer to hook onto stuff and then lift yourself over things. And he is just at points, he's screaming, getting up out of his chair, shaking in frustration and anger, throwing his furniture and then just a jump cut back to him sitting back in his chair just <sighs> 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 And you can see the physical pain playing this game is causing him. And I am laughing so hard. I mean, you're supposed to. It's, you're not a bad person for doing so. But it is just amazing how his sheer pain and frustration causes such joy. But then that is comedy. Comedy, the essence of comedy is tragedy. After all, if I cut my finger, that is a tragedy. But if you fall into and through an open manhole into a sewer and die, that's comedy. So, joy on that. But one of the other things he has been playing is a game that I have, and I can't remember if I've talked about this on channel. There's a game called Darkwood. It's made by, I think, I can't remember wh where they are in the world. I don't think they're American, you know, United States developers. I think they're like Spanish or some such like that. But they don't really like horror, the people that made it. And so they made a horror game. And it's horrific. It's nightmarish. It is more frightening than things made up by people who like to like horror. One of the big problems, of course, with horror is in modern horror is this over-dependence on the jump scare. And the jump scare, I've talked about this before, it's effective, but it's cheap. It's not anything that requires work or skill. You could make a jump scare movie 
that is nothing but just black shown on the screen. And at randomly, between 30 seconds to two minutes, you flash a bright light on the screen and have a loud noise. You're gonna have people on the edges of their seats in just absolute, oh no, because they don't know when it's coming and when it does, bam, everyone's gonna jump and scream. You can have everybody in an audience doing that for an hour and a half, just with just a black screen, flashlights, loud noise. Jump scares are hardwired into us. Making somebody jump from a jump scare, there's no skill in that. There's no talent, there's no ability. Any child hiding behind a door and, and yelling, boo! as you go by has performed a successful jump scare. So relying on the jump scare is once any movie has done that, I mean once or twice I can forgive, but when you rely on it, no that's showing that you don't have anything. All you have is jump scares. So horror that doesn't rely on jump scares is very good. And in this game, because I, I said that with people that don't like horror that made it, it's extremely horrific and terrifying. And they use environmental stuff. You can only see in the direction that you're facing. But as the game goes by, when you're looking forward, let's say it's, well, in the context of the game, a forest has sprung up cut off everybody that was inside of this area and there's like a village and you know people that were living there and it's a huge area and the forest sprung up and people have been changing the world has been mutating everything is bizarre strange and terrifying and when you're looking forward let's say you're in your house everything looks fine for its dilapidated and abandoned look but when you turn you can still sort of see what's around you and you'll notice that when you look at it it's fine but when you look away as your cone of vision leaves this every, everything is more rotted decayed vines strung all over everything these weird extrusions but then you look back and when the light goes on it, it's just a nice room. It's fine. Look away and, oh, the rot and decay is still there. And it is nasty. Now, I've watched some videos and I know how the end is. But watching Markiplier play this and being confounded and just trying to figure this stuff up and the horrific nightmarish stuff that's there. Oh. Good game, Darkwood. If you don't like horror, uh, you may not want to, but it's made by people that don't like horror, and it's very frightening. Thumbs up for that. I've tried playing it with my ADHD. It's hard, because it's a slow burn kind of game, and I'm not good at slow burn. Now in the... Well, gosh, I don't really have a... I was going to answer this one question by Honor that says, Why did you stop doing reaction videos? If I got time, I'll do it real quick. I had started doing reaction videos for a couple reasons. Number one, I was numb. And number two, it was somebody had done something and I wanted to poke at them for not doing what I thought a reaction video correctly. So I did one, turned out to be fun, so I continued doing them. But... It turned into, I was doing reaction videos so I could feel because of my depression after the death of my wife, I was numb. And that's not a good way to be. <clears throat> so I did reaction videos so I could feel. Well, as I was doing reaction videos, I was also vlogging and things were starting to fall together in my head and I was starting to get better. And then I started doing therapy and things started getting even better inside of my head. I was reacting to feel. I don't have a problem not feeling anymore. My depression has been lifting. I have been waking up. I've got 35 years worth of emotional stuff that I should have been dealing with on a daily basis over 35 years. Now it's all right here, right now, and wants out. 
So yeah, I, it's going to be a long time for me to process that 35 years worth of stuff. So I'm not numb and unable to feel anymore. In fact, when I let my armor down so I can let the song in so I can feel, I let the armor down, everything inside comes out. The song can't get in. So I really doubt I'm ever going to be able to do reaction videos again. There's just too much going on. If I can, I may. I do not know. But for right now, I don't see it happening. So that's why I quit. Thumbs up for that. Oh, excuse me. Gas. And I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab. And I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm just thanking you for having left the comment. Good, bad, indifferent. You took the time. You expended the calories. Thank you very much. <coughs> If I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. And even though I count in American Sign Language uh, with my depression, fibro depression, which is still there, it's cyclical, it's biochemical, then I, I do my best. But, so, let me call it my Chrome. We have Josephine Svensson, thumbs up and thank you. Ben Kitchen, greatly appreciated. Michael Wood, thumbs up and thank you. W-W-E-F-U-K, thumbs up and thank you. Michaela, and then a uh, smiley face sort of thing, thank you much. Chloe Hicks, greatly appreciated. Ana Acevedo, I'm nowhere close, but thank you very, very much. And then we had Trinity Farmer, thumbs up. And Kathy Kizkat, good to see you in the comments. We have Chris, greatly appreciated. Elderwolf569, always with good information, thank you. And Long Nose, L A W N G, thumbs up and thank you. And Constable Lopez, good to see you. Honor, thumbs up. We have Made in Canada, thumbs up and good to see you. D D M S O U T O, thumbs up and thank you. We have Aaron A, greatly appreciated. Zetley, X E T Z L Y, thumbs up and thank you. Colin Reisnauer, good to see you in the comments. We have Christopher Thomas. Thumbs up. Om, OMG, it's Pooley. Thumbs up and good to see you in the comments here. We have Sebastian Ferris, greatly appreciated. Olivia Deal, thumbs up and thank you. Russian Timing, good to see you as well. And then last but not least, Daniel Lipira, L-I-P-I-R-A. Thumbs up and thank you. Each and every one of you, you get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people, and out of the echo chamber of my skull. And when you're depressed, that is important. Definitely a good thing. If you could check out my various links down below, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron, like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. If you want to help me out without sending money to one of those two places, I have a PayPal link down below. And if you want to help me out without sending money, I have an Amazon wish list thing as well with things like hamster food, hamster bedding, cat food. If you could check it out, that would be very, very cool. Now, do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I appreciate all the positive validation I get for my existence. Another thumbs up. And of course, if you could subscribe to the channel. Ah, we're slurring around my dentures here. My apologies. If you could subscribe to the channel and... <coughs> Hit that bell. That would be very cool. Greatly appreciated. I would understand if you did not wish to, but if you are down with it, I'll do my best to keep you entertained for, well, as long as I possibly can. Definitely a thumbs up on that. Well, I have this video that you've been watching. I have another video that I have to edit and render. Thumbs up on that. Oh, my wrist and my hand. Do not sever your radial nerve. I am fighting with my... Uh, always always trying to do physical therapy because it's always always going to be injured anyway you take care have a great day today i will see you on the flip side my friend and please practice self-care practice your social distancing wear a mask it works it's not political and of course black lives matter
and justice for everybody that the jackbooted, brown-shirted, fascist thugs keep brutalizing and murdering. ACAB. I will see you on the flip side.